guys, today I'm going to be, uh, to be attempting to solve a 3x3 three three using only commutators. Let's get started. So if you don't know what a commutator is, then it's basically a way to cycle three pieces around. For example, let's see, take a look at this. So you have three different pieces which are unsolved. So in, this goes here, which goes here, which goes back here. So it's a three cycle. And it's a sp specific way to solve a three cycle by solving one piece, like this, now this is solved. And now, putting in the other unsolved piece. Now reverse the first move, and reverse the second move. The second sequence. And uh, yeah, if you want a more in-depth tutorial, then go check out Jperm's video. Just search uh, Jperm, how uh, commutators work. He's like a pretty popular uh, cubing channel, and he, like, he's ex he explains it pretty well. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and solve a 3x3 using only commutators. So again, if you don't know what commutators are, check JPM's video first. So, I guess I'm going to start out with a cross. I'll do orange cross here, since there's already, already solved one. You know, I'll do blue cross. Okay, so, I can put this one here. Cycle so this, goes here, which goes here, so... Okay, now that solves it. Now this goes here, which goes. I can just pick anyone. This goes here. Okay. Uh, let me see. This goes here. This goes here. I could do it like this. Oh no, it's flipped. Put it in flipped. I'm stupid. Oh well, I'll just fix it. Okay, now I can put it in like this. Okay, now it's in. Final piece is back here, so this goes here, which goes here. Wait, is it gonna be flipped? No, it's not. Okay. And that's the cross done. Okay, now I guess I'll. I'm gonna have a few, I'm gonna pick out a few strategies and find out which one works the best. So now let's see corners. This one needs to be twisted. Commutator. Now let's see. This one goes here, so we can just do something like this. Yes. Now this goes here, so you can do like that. Yes. Now this one is back here, so this goes to here, goes to here, which goes to let's say here. Oh no! Uh, oh, okay, I got an idea now. I'll just do something like this, and that gets the first layer. Great. So now edges. This goes here, which goes um, let's see here. Ah, oh, it's flipped. I'm so stupid. Back. Okay, so if this goes here. Let's say it goes here. Did I get it? Yes, I got one. Okay, great. Now, let's see. This goes here, which goes, let's say, here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now this goes here, which goes, let's say, here. Tom, are you serious? Flipped. Oh, I have to figure out a different way. So this goes here. Let's say this goes to, um, let, let's solve this one first, so like this. Now for this one, this goes here, which goes, let's say, here. Okay, first two layers. You know what? For the last layer, I'm not going to, since I can't do all on, on PLL because they're not commutators, I guess I'll try and solve edges first and then corners, but without using u perms because they're not commutators. So, let's see. 
I could cycle around three of these, which would solve one. So yes, let's just say this goes to here. No, this goes here, which goes here. Okay, so. Okay, we solved one, great. Now, let's say this goes here, which goes... Yes, I just sold. Okay, corn twist. And we got an apron, but apron is not a commutator, so we'll, I guess we'll just do it like this. Um, how can I do an apron? Like this, perhaps? Yes! That's a 3x3 three three with a commutator. So I'll, I'll try a different strategy. I'll try and solve edges first, so no layer by layer thing, just all edges first and then all corners. So I guess I'll solve the edges, yes. Okay, got this one, that one solved, I could solve this one next. Okay, so sorry the doorbell rang, but no matter. Anyway, where was I? Um, okay. I guess I'll just solve this one next. Yes, now maybe this cross edge. Yeah, so I'll just, yeah, whatever. This goes to here, let's see which goes, um, wait. It's here, which goes here, yes. Oh no, I found a better one, so I'll just solve this one. Okay, this one's solved. Now, let me see. Yeah, I'll solve this one. Yep. Now, I'll we'll solve, let's say this. This goes here, which goes here. Great, now we got three edges left. Excellent. I can solve these like this. Yes, all the edges done. Now, let's check for twists. No twist, okay. Corner should be pretty easy because corner commentators are like super simple. Now let's see, I could so I could bring hmm. What now? I could I I guess I'll just do some twists. Yeah, I'll just do a couple twists. Okay, now I can bring this one here. Interchange back. Okay, three left. So I can solve this one here. Now it's solved. Interchange with this piece. Reverse first, and reverse second. Yes, yeah, so this method is the best. If you want to solve two or three using all the commutators, edges first, and then corners. Bye guys, see you next time, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye, see you.